Well, welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it's spring 2013. In this session, I'm going to talk about one of the problems you're going to work on for this week's assignment, and that's flipping lines. So here's an example. We've got some lines representing salmon streams, and what we want is every line to flow downstream. So we could symbolize our lines with an arrow at the end of each line. And in this case, there's two stream lines that are not flowing downstream. So we need to flip those lines. So the two lines are this stream isn't going in the proper direction, and this stream is not flowing in the proper direction. So basically that's the task, is to flip lines so they go in the proper direction. So what we'll do is um, start with a simple example, and that will be using just one line. Okay, so here's our one test line, and basically what we want to do is flip this line so the direction, instead of going this way, will be going downstream. So one way to do that is the line is actually composed of vertices. So basically get all the vertices from this line. And then by feature ID, we know the direction of our vertices. So here's our 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then basically um, reverse those vertices so this 7 vertice becomes zero and the zero vertex becomes seven so basically we're just going to reverse the uh, order of these vertexes okay so how do we do that in python okay so to accomplish this what we're going to first do is we'll create a line layer from that shape file so we'll import the ogr module and then we'll create a driver for esri shape files and then we'll open our shapefile with write access. So basically write access would be open line.shape and the code one means write access. So you have permission to write to that shapefile. And then we create our line layer. Okay, so in this case, we've got one line that we're trying to flip, so we'll just grab that one line feature. And then from that feature, we'll grab the shape field or the geometry of that line. Okay, so at this point, it's a good exercise to check what is uh, the geometry of that line. So if we just type in our object and then dot, we'll get all the functions applicable to that object. And in this case, we want the function export to well-known text file. So export to well-known text file. So it is indeed a line, and here's the XY coordinates that line is composed of. Okay, so the next step is going to be to grab all the points the line's composed of, which are called vertices, and then reverse the order of those vertices in this line string. So what we can do is use the function get points. So we're going to put those points in this container called list vertices. So if I type dot, there should be a function for our line object get points. get points. So there's our function get points. So this container should be a list. And if we say use the Python function type, what is the type of that container? And it is a list. So what's the first item on that list? So if we type in our list 
and show us the first item on that list. So there's the XY coordinates for the first vertex in our list. And let's see, we want to know for the last item on the list, well, we need to know how many vertices are in that list. So we could use the length function, which applies to lists. So go to our list and give me the length of how many items are on that list and store it in this variable. So then how many items are on our list? So there's eight items on our list, and if we start with index zero, the last item on our list will be index seven. Okay, so let's recall the first item on our list, so Alt P for previous, and then recall the last item on our list. Okay. So now what we want to do is change this list, and if you have any list and you type in a dot, you'll see the functions applicable to a list. So in this case, there's a function reverse, and what that's going to do is reverse the order of the items in our list. So now the first item in our list should be what was originally the last item in our list. So the first item in our list is item zero, and it's exactly the same as what originally was the last item in our list. And if we look at what's the last item in our list, it is what was originally the first item in our list. So now all the points are going in reverse order from what they were originally were. Okay, so now we've got this list and it's got the points all going downstream in the proper order. So now it's simply a matter of looping through those points in the list and extracting the X value and the Y value. So for example, the first item in the list, um, we're gonna store in a variable, I'll call it point X, Y. And that's going to be equal to our list, and the first item in the list is index 0. And let's see what that contains. So it contains a tuple of the x, y coordinates of the first point as we're starting upstream going downstream. And then we could say, well, x is going to be equal to element item zero in that tuple. So that would be PTXY and give me the first item in that tuple. And then Y is going to be equal to PTXY and give me the second item in that tuple. So here's X and here's Y. And then once you have X and Y, you would just simply use the add point function to add it to some line string. So we're gonna do this in a loop. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create our line string container that's gonna accumulate these points in the loop. And we'll call this our flip line object. And then in our loop, we'll start with the first point in our list, so from zero to the number of vertices in our list, and we'll grab the ith point from our list. And then once we have the ith point, then we could say, okay, well from that ith point, grab the x value, and then grab the Y value. So now we've got the X value and the Y value, so then we could just say, okay, for our line stream object, add a point to it. So basically what we're gonna do is accumulate vertices in this line stream object called flip line. And then we'll just run this loop and see what happens. Okay, so we'll double check. So flip line dot 
and we're going to export to a well-known text. So I use the down arrow key until I see export to well-known text. So it is a line string, and this is the x value that was originally the last point in our line, and this is the y value that originally was the last point in our line. So now it's a simply, we'll use this and replace the geometry of our original line with our flip line. So our original line geometry we called um, line feature, and then dot, and then use the down arrow key until we get to the set functions. So set geometry from our flip line. Okay, so set geometry from flip line. I must have had a special character in here when I, before I hit return. Okay, so now we've got our line feature and it has the new geometry where the x, y coordinates are reversed from what they originally were. So then we simply just uh, basically save this to the shape file. So then we do our line layer object dot, And since our shapefile already exists, it's not create feature, it's gonna be set feature. So set feature using this line feature object. And that basically saves the new reverse order to our shapefile. And then we'll look at it in our GIS. So to look at it, we'll close our data source. So this simply unlocks or closes our data source. Okay, so then let's see if indeed the line is reversed. Okay, so here's our line, and what we need to do is symbolize it with an arrow at the end. If you remember originally, uh, our line was going upstream rather than going downstream. So we're hoping when we symbolize it arrow at end, the arrow is gonna be here rather than where it was originally. And indeed, now our line is flipped and it's going in the correct direction. We're flowing downstream along this line. And we could double check by looking at the vertices the line's composed of and seeing the order of the vertices in terms of feature ID. And there are the points this line's composed of. So indeed, we have our first vertex, which would be feature ID 0, all the way down to our last vertex, which would be. So everything's good. Okay, so that's what you're going to do with the stream assignment this week.